I'm going to explain to you shortly what cryptocurrencies can really be used for. An application area for the Federal Reserve. It's called the Fed Coins. It was launched, the idea was launched by a very clever blogger, JP Conning, 2014. Interestingly, who took on the discussion was David Adolf Fato, an economist at the Federal Reserve. The idea is that the Fed coin would not replace the dollar, it would replace the bills, physical bills and coins in the economy. The Fed would pick the Fed coin and the US dollar, meaning that one Fed coin is one US dollar, and it's a realistic peg since the Federal Reserve prints or issues both. The peg would avoid the volatility that Bitcoin has, and then the Federal Reserve will take the blockchain, develop a specific ledger, blockchain ledger they can use, and the banks would hold the wallets or the accounts, if you wish, to ensure anti-money laundering and know your customer. This would provide an added monetary tool for the Federal Reserve, because the Federal Reserve could issue or take back Fed coins, as it does with US dollar, to adjust the liquidity in the economy. It would provide economic benefits because it would have lower costs, simpler to manage, and it would also be faster transacting, since you don't have to move it uh, physically. And it would have less fraud, as we have with cards, credit cards is very fraudulent, and we have counterfeit bills, that would disappear. And the last thing is that the Fed coin would not have any interest as no cryptocurrencies charge interest, which is the same thing as the physical bills and coins. So, this was one practical application for a digital cryptocurrency based on the blockchain technology. It was the Fed coin, and we can have the Eurocoin or in England, the bread coin, if you wish.